All right, here's another really good scrap and tip. Um, I strip all of my copper, every last little bit of it. This is a plug, a wire out of a, a computer power supply or a computer monitor. What you want to do, I cut these close, and I'll actually pry this out. I got a little bit of bright wire and some brass. I pry them out. It's not that hard to do. You know, otherwise it's otherwise it's brass bearing and that's like 15 cents a pound you pry them out and get the little piece of bright wire off them now it's two bucks a pound and um uh, bare bright is uh 345 a pound right now but um this end you can't really get the copper out of or the brass out of it's too difficult so what i'll do is i'll leave about five or six inches of wire on it and the scrapyard will still give me number two coated copper for that. And it weighs a lot more than brass bearing. You know, I spend a lot of time at the scrapyard. I hang out there. And I went to school with half the people who work there. And they tell me what I can get away with and what I can't. But they'll still give me number two coated copper for this. So put that in my bag. Now, I got this tool off of eBay. This is called a strip all. You can just type in strip all and you'll probably find it. But it's got a little tiny blade in here and you can adjust the depth of the blade. And it really, it really works quick at, at stripping stuff. You know, and it doesn't take long at all. And it's really quite easy. Hey. But, uh, after I get the wire get that out then I have this thinner stranded wire and I use a small small pocket knife um, the smaller the better because if you're going to slip and cut yourself you know you don't want to slip and cut yourself with a you know like a six inch long blade and I just simply I have a little a little clamp clamp it to my desk I just run a pocket knife down it, just like uh, just like filleting a fish. Cut it, fold it in half, and out comes beer bright. I missed a little spot. Out comes beer bright, and uh, I can do a whole bucket full of this in a week which is about 50 about 50 to 60 pounds and I have in my garage 200 pounds of coated copper or more and I'm always coming across it you know being a scrapper but it doesn't take long at all to fill a bucket up with this stuff and uh, as you can see there's 47 pounds in there right now and, uh, Every now and then I come across some number two that I number two coated copper that I can't strip. It's too tough to strip or too small of a piece, too time consuming. And every now and then you come across a piece that's um you know it's uh pre soldered or there's solder on it or it's um like uh nickel plated or zinc plated. But that's uh number two copper. But yeah, I strip all of mine not that hard to do. Yeah, thanks for watching.